I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello, hello, you guys. Another little late night live. Late night live. I um I rested a lot today, you guys. Full disclosure. I didn't get really I think I shipped three items. Um, <clears throat> it was a two nap kind of day today. Mm. I took two naps. And now you're drinking coffee. And now I'm drinking coffee, but I'm still tired. I mean, even though I took two naps, I, I think I'll have a cup of coffee and I won't have a problem going to sleep, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> for those of you that a, uh, are wondering, hey, Susan, shipped your package today. Um, for those of you that are wondering about this person, um, Juliana used to come into the chat a very long time ago. I uh, haven't seen her around in a really long time. And she's known for her uh, random thoughts. So she's fine. She's not a troll. She's not has never been disrespectful towards me or to the channel. She just likes to post random thoughts that are in her head. So welcome, Juliana. I haven't seen you in a very long time. Thank you for being here. Elsie, thank you for your kind words today and sharing your story. Thank you so much. Sandra, hello. Schreiker, thanks for coming on with me. So last minute. It was expected, though. It was? Yes. <laughs> you were expecting me to say I'm going on? Yeah. You were just waiting for the text? Yeah. Really? Yes. Friday night. <laughs> See what I mean, you guys? A residency for abandoned boys from the street without parents. Just random. Just random thoughts. So random thoughts are very welcome in my chat. It's fine. You can... Put random thoughts in all day long. Hey, Sergeant Spork. I know, really, but I, I, it really is. But I, I took, uh, took a couple of naps, like I said. Thank you, Holly. Thank you for the reminder. So <laughs> I'm reading some of her random thoughts. <laughs> it's okay, Nance P. Thank you so much for the cup of coffee that you bought me. I appreciate it. That was very kind of you. Thank you so much. Now I just have to figure out how to link that account to a bank account or a PayPal account. Ooh, there's a moth flying in here. Hi, Lindsay Ann. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Securities Investor Protection Corporation. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea, you guys. And the lecture also mentioned negotiable orders. I'm sure she'll get tired in a little while. No, she don't. She won't. Go the whole day, the whole night? Yeah, she'll just do that the whole night. It's just normal. It's normal. It's normal for her. <laughs> Saxton, hello. Ah, there you are, Karen Henderson. Evening, everyone. Just dropped in to let Donna know that my comics arrived today from the Christmas in July sale. They are outstanding, and thank you. Oh, my God, Karen, did I sell you comics? I'm so That's glad. That's what we were talking about last night. You said you couldn't remember it. I don't remember mm -hmm. selling Karen comics. I'm sorry, Karen. You're very important to me. You're all very important to me. But you know... You know, I, I usually sell, do the math, approximately 15, 20 lots per day. And I go on, would you say six days a week? Eh, I don't know, five. Yeah. Five? But sometimes twice. So, you sometimes know. Sometimes twice. So six, sometimes seven days a week. So times, I don't know, say 25, how many orders is that? But I, I, I try, I try to remember all the orders, but thank you. <coughs> Karen, I'm glad that you got them because 
when I went offline last night, I looked to see if you sent me an email and you didn't. And I said, oh, maybe she fell asleep. And then I checked this morning if you sent me an email because I was concerned about it. But I didn't check my tracking and I didn't check my PayPal invoices. I was just looking for your email. Um, and then I checked again this afternoon and I still didn't receive an email from you. And I was like, hmm, maybe if she shows up, I'll ask her in the chat. So, but thank you. Thank you for the feedback. And I do have comics tonight. And there's only 42 of you tonight in the chat, not the typical hundred. So those of you that like comics will probably be able to get a nice chance. Hi, Kathy. Hello, hello. So good to see you. I did send out a bunch of text messages. Goals, goals, goals. Right, Kyle? Can't give up. My Facebook comic is just wrapping up. So sell the stuff. Don't want first. Okay. <laughs> well, Kyle, you know, I just pull them. It's not Julian. You're welcome here. It's not, it's not too much. You're fine. Your random thoughts are interesting. I think that maybe anybody who doesn't know you is probably like, oh, uh -oh Donna has a troll. Who is this woman? But I know how you are. So you're good. You're good. And besides, it's, you know, interaction in the chat. So it's all good. Ah, uh, Saxton. <laughs> Kyle, you should get some sleep. Hi, Junebug. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming in. Ah, oh, beautiful Joy Munkin. Hi, honey. I'm so glad that you came. Yeah, Joy didn't come by very much anymore. I'm so glad that you're here, Joy. Shell UK, hello. Robin, did I say hi to everybody? Denise, hi, honey. Thanks, everybody that's come in tonight. We'll hang out for a little while, maybe have a little bit of a chat, a little bit of a selling. Um, Dora. It's, it's got to be really early for Shell. Yeah. Right. All right. I don't know if I missed anybody, but um, hey, D's Collections. I got one of my packages with the Victorian jewelry holder. They're so beautiful. I know, D. Really? They're so pretty. My daughter saw them. You know, they don't always see everything that I have because then they're like, gimme, gimme, gimme. And my daughter saw them and she was like, oh my God, these are so beautiful. I never thought that she would think that they were beautiful because it's not really her style. They're more my style than her style. Uh, go back to Junebug. Oh, Joy. Wait a minute. Oh, what did Junebug say? I was going to say, Joy, you love coming here, but I just have too much. All right, well, just, just, I won't let you bed. <laughs> <laughs> but hang out with us. I love having you here. Just, I won't let you bed. Hey, Greg, welcome in. Donna's quote, be strong, be fearless, be beautiful, and believe that everything is possible when you have the right people there to support you. Junebug, what a nice quote. And I'm not going to lie, you guys. Some of you may have seen my community post this morning. Um, today was kind of a, you know, today was kind of a tough day, you know, for me. I have them. I'm human. I do have, uh, I feel like I, you know, it's happened before, you know, I, I feel like when I don't mention Denali, sometimes I've betrayed him because I, you know, um, anyways. So yeah, so today was kind of um, a tough day and I'm allowed to have them. And, you know, I, I did take the day off um, from, uh, a little bit. I, I did a little bit of invoicing and shipping. I did the, I, I took the day off um, just to like step away for a minute, which, you know, everybody's entitled to that step away from work for a minute. And instead of like enjoying the day because I stepped away for a minute, I stressed about it all day that I took the day off and that people are waiting for their packages and that I didn't get something out. And, and so <clears throat> It's crazy. Like, you know, instead of just in trying to enjoy myself. <clears throat> oh, wow. Yeah, it's hard to do. Betty. Hello, sweetheart. Thanks for coming in. It's hard. I bet you never really step away. You work every day too, right? Yep. Oh, All day, every day. I know. 
well, you know, we've got a lot going on with Angelina too, you know, and all that fiasco that happened with my daughter. She has her first, hi, Nicole. Nice time for an auction for us here on the West Coast. I used to go on, um, I, when I first started doing auctions, my Friday night auctions were always late late auctions so that the people on the West Coast could have time to like get home, have dinner, settle in. And, you know, I would stay on sometimes. Oh my gosh, Chris the Goose and I would do like all nighters sometimes. It was so much fun. Oh, you didn't, Susan? Sometimes the community post, I know I was talking to Susan, Susan S. And she said that she never gets any um, notifications, that she doesn't get my notifications. She doesn't get my community post. So I told her to, um, oh, the police, the police just drove by with their lights on pretty fast through the neighborhood. <clears throat> I told her to unsubscribe and then resubscribe. Hey, Nola, welcome in. Sugar Visions, hello. Hello, hello. Sometimes I think that might reset it. If you unsubscribe and then resubscribe to the channel. Um, I don't know. They're after coconut man. <laughs> I know, right? I had to sign a package for him um, the day before yesterday. I was like, hmm, I wonder what's in it. They're kind of like a mysterious family. They're a little bit different. He... Um, he buys and sells um, helicopters, Coconut Man. That's what he does. He buys and sells helicopters and he buys and sells helicopter parts and he sends them to his country, which is Ecuador. Mm. They're from Ecuador. Yeah. Helicopters. He buys and sells helicopters and he lives here, but his his cottage is not really a cottage like mine is look i call it a cottage because it reminds me of a cottage because it's very vintage because it's never been updated his is like i've never been inside of it but it's brand new and it's was built at the same time that the other one was built next to it and it's um they're modular homes and it's all like granite and you know Oh, she didn't get my post notification. Unsubbing to you didn't work. Hi, Amy Billings. Uh, yeah, I don't get any community post notices from anybody. I didn't think they even went out for community stuff. Well, they, they do come up when you're scrolling through YouTube, like to see who's live or who's posted a new video. They'll, they'll just randomly come up, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in the feeds. Um. Amy, I got your message, honey. I responded to it. I don't know if you were able to check your emails. Um, I have been working all day on a wreath. Orders for all these back-to-school teachers. My daughter put one in her classroom, and now others want one. Yay! That's awesome. I better get that ribbon out to you tomorrow. I better get that ribbon out to you. Yeah, I... um. I have Dolores coming tomorrow, which will be nice. It will be a nice treat. Um, Cesarina is away. It's so funny. Like they had all of their end of end of school year parties, which, which feels to me like they just ended, you know, for all the seniors that were going, you know, away. So there was like party after party after party with these kids. And now they're having they're going away parties like the parents the parents just had i didn't have a party for my for my daughter for graduating but the parents just had like graduation parties and now the parents are having their kids are going away to college parties so the kids are like the kids are so busy right now and school starts on tuesday um for seniors um so chesie's away this weekend so i don't have her helping me, which she's such a tremendous help. And Angelina has her first scrimmage tomorrow. She has it. Um, it's at nine o'clock and I was going to go to it, but I'm so 
taken today off. I feel like I'm so behind on my shipping. I told her I probably won't go because I'm probably going to ship um, tomorrow morning. T wants to go on at 12. Um, she was, she wants to do a marathon auction tomorrow, starting at 12. Um, she said that she just wants to stay on all day on and off. I told her I would be on with her on, on and off all day as well. So I have to just decide whether or not I'm going to go to the scrimmage. I was, the plan was I was going to go to the scrimmage and go live, you know, from the scrimmage at nine o'clock. So you guys can see her first scrimmage. But I talked to her tonight and she's like, Mama, if you've got too much work to do, you know, there'll be plenty of others. This is like the first scrimmage of the year. Like, you know, you don't have to be there. So I don't know, you guys, you think I should go or you think I should stay home and ship? Well, not home, but stay at the cottage and ship. How far away is it? Mm. Just down the beach. No, 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 no. She's... um. So for this college, for Palm Beach State, she's playing indoor and beach. Mm. She's playing both. So um, tomorrow is an indoor. It's an indoor scrimmage with the indoor volleyball team. And Lola will be there, too. So you guys will get to see Lola. You guys remember Lola. They're all saying go. You think I should go? Two of my daughters tested positive, but one's husband was negative. Kids got tested yesterday. We'll see. Denise, prayers, honey. Hopefully, you know, if they're healthy, they'll be fine. If they got healthy immune systems, they'll be fine. They'll breeze right through it. Yeah, so that's kind of the plan tomorrow. I don't know. And then Dolores is, Dolores is coming. And when Dolores comes, I have to, like, I have to like, it's like, it's like when the maid comes, you have to like clean the house before, clean the up before they come. Huh? <laughs> you have to clean the house before the maid comes to clean. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, cause right now I've got like some outgoing orders, like out in the living room area and there's plenty of room in the shipping, in the shipping room, but they were from last night and I just put them there. I didn't bring them all the way into the shipping room. So I've got to like get all of like the orders into the shipping room because she'll come in and she'll be like, these orders are not supposed to be in the living room. What's the rule? Nothing in the living room. And I've got a bunch of outgoing stuff in the living room. <laughs> Captain Spalding, thank you for coming in. Beetle gal, you guys are great. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope everybody had a good day. Did you have a good day, Shrika? Uh, just normal. List, list, list. You know. Is that what you did all day? You listed? Yeah. What time do you start your day? I'm usually up by eight. Yeah. But I don't get to bed till one, two, you know. Well, you know, last night we were We were late. So Well, we weren't too late. It was what, like eleven thirty, twelve o'clock your time? Uh, a little after twelve and then Facebook conversations, you know. Hi, Amy. Welcome in, honey. Good to see you. For those of you that are coming in, Ronnie. Hi, honey. I had a nice long chat with Ronnie today. Ronnie, Ronnie and I used to talk all the time, and Susan, too, all the time. Camille, hi, honey. We used to talk all the time, all the time, all the time. And then, but that was when I was only doing like one, maybe two auctions a week. That's all I was doing. But life has gotten so crazy. I don't get to um, enjoy my friends as, as much as I would like to. But it's well, a, that was a long time ago, one or two auctions a week. Um, probably a year and a half ago. Maybe two years ago. Yeah. I mean, I really only started like doing one, two, and three. It's been about a, it's over a year now that I'm doing them like every day. <clears throat> no, Ronnie didn't have surgery. Ronnie, Ronnie went in um, to have uh, just her ticker checked. No, colonoscopy. And then she had a colonoscopy. Yeah. yeah, but that's not really considered surgery. You guys get your colonoscopies, please. It's very important. 
I'm thinking about starting to do auctions. Okay, here's my advice, Captain Spaulding. The very first thing that you want to do is um, be prepared to pay people to take your items. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly, I, I say that true heartedly. Um, you really can't do auctions until you start your channel. You really need to have like two, 300 people following you before you can do auctions. And you've got to really be prepared to sometimes lose money on shipping and your, um, and your, by the time you ship the item. So unless you're buying, like if you're thinking about buying, um, things like at thrift stores and flipping them, it's going to be really, really hard to try to make a profit. Um, he's got 450 subs. Okay. That's good. Um, so you really have to buy things very, very inexpensively to be able to, unless you plan on charging shipping, well then it's, they told me I was full of shit, Ronnie says. Um, what was I saying? You have to buy things really, really inexpensively. Oh, unless you plan on charging shipping. And that opens up a whole other thing because shipping is really expensive. I mean, you know, my average cost of shipping daily cost of shipping is depending on how many packages I send out can be over $300 a day just in shipping cost. Um, I'm in the process of cleaning, sorting my husband's things, things to sell junk to throw away. It's very difficult. Yes, it is Nola. Yes, it is. It's a very, very um, hard task. So, yeah, you know, Captain, you know, feel free to reach out to me or if you have any um, other questions, if I can guide you in any other way. Um, you know, these are decisions that you're going to have to make. Am I going to charge shipping? Am I not going to charge shipping? And you have to really look at um, being prepared that if you start an item at $10, $15, um, you may get only one bid on it. Hi guys. Yes, I've been battling cancer for two years. I found in a colonoscopy. Get your screenings done early and vaccinate your kids for HPV. What's the HPV? That's the virus, the HPV virus. I don't know what the HPV is. Yeah, it's something they screen for children now. I'm not going to get my kids vaccinated for that. We don't vaccinate. We don't even vaccinate for the flu. Do you? No. No. Yeah, I just, um, I think HPV is worse for women. Human. Papilloma. Papilloma virus. I don't really know anything about that. I guess I'm going to have to look it up. Can lead to cancer later in life. Well, I'm, uh, we're really lucky in um, both my, well, I don't know a lot of my family history because a lot of my family history is, you know, my parents were both um, come from lands where family history was not documented, but I don't know of much cancer. Um, there's diabetes in my family. Um, my mother was a diabetic. Um, both my uncles died of diabetes. My grandfather died of diabetes. So I have to, I'm screened every six months um, for diabetes because I, my, my blood sugar is already running high. I'm like pre-diabetic. So there, I have to go in every six months and it's stable. Like the last three times it hasn't moved. Um, I'll be back in a half hour when we start, just sit your little tush right down, Susan. And it's not going to just be all about selling. I said it was just going to be chatting also. So human, po uh, po I can't say that word. Help me with that. 
uh, where are we at? Papil Human papilloma virus. Yeah, papil papilloma is the most commonly virus. sexually transmitted infection affecting both males and females. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. That's what I thought it was. I'm reading what Nola is writing. How long has it been, Nola? I think she said she's been battling for two years. No, Nola's husband passed away. She's going um, through his things. Pam, Pam is. Okay. Hey, Bree. What are you doing up so late? It's been two years. That's how long it took me to clean out Denali's um, room and closet, two years. And now we have all his things. So th so this is how we did it, Nola. This might help you. Um, <coughs> the girls and I did it. My husband and Massimo didn't want to do it. So the girls and I had to do it. <coughs> I had a foreign exchange student coming and she was going to be staying in uh, Denali's room so we had to clear out his room um and it was two years that he passed away so we went through all his drawers and we would hold something whether it be a toy or a um shirt or shorts or clothing or and whatever it was we would hold it and we would um me and the girls would be if we could remember if we had a memory attached to it like if we could remember like we sat and we would think like if we could remember a certain day that he was wearing those shorts or a certain carnival that we went to where he had the t-shirt on or something particular about the toy he had then it would go in the save bins and if it, there was like no like memories with the effects that we were pulling from his drawers and his closet um we put it in the donate pile and i ended up donating it all um to uh, a charity so but even with that nola we ended up with like six 25 gallon totes filled with stuff and um they were in the corner of his closet for a really long time. They were there for a really long time. And now they're up in the rafters in the garage. And it's kind of hard because it's like, you know, how long do you hold on to that stuff? And then what do you do? Like, do you pass it down to your children and give them the guilt of not knowing what to do with it and they have to lug it around for their whole adult life because because they you, you know i wouldn't want them to think oh mama and daddy would never want me to um i still have the big mickey he's hanging up in my closet i still have the big mickey i do Bree. i do he um Bree knows about i have a gigantic walt disney Mickey Mouse and it was we were in the hospital and one of the nonprofits came in and they came in with all these huge enormous stuffed animals all Disney ones huge ones enormous ones and they came in and and they said to Denali would you like to pick one out and he said why would I want one of those stuffed animals he's like I'm not going to do anything with one of those stuffed animals and then he said but I'll pick one out for my sister Bo and he picked one out for Bo. He used to, I have pictures of him. Whenever he felt good, we would go down to the gift shop and he would buy Cesarina a monkey. And Cesarina, a stuffed monkey. She has so many of them, you guys. Oh my God, she has so many of them. He would pick out a monkey and and she used to say that it wasn't a monkey collection. It was a monkey rescue. <laughs> and she still has them all. She has her monkey rescue. It's so cute. Passed away from throat cancer. <clears throat> when my mom's husband passed, she took all his jeans and t-shirts and made a quilt and a curtain that matched the quilt. Oh, that's a great idea. That's awesome. Oh, really? 
I get the shots, I get the flu shot, but I'm not getting the COVID-19 shot. It does seem like yesterday, Nola. It's going to feel like that even nine years from now. Anybody who tells you it's going to get easier is lying to you. Trust me. No, well, mostly t mostly the tie. Oops, Shriker just fell out. I'm sure he'll come back. They're mostly tie, <clears throat> the tie ones. Really, your COPD doctor said no. That's interesting. That's interesting because when I went for my last blood test, you know, to check my blood sugar, which wasn't too long ago, the doctor said to me, do you want the COVID test? And I said, mm, I, I don't think so. And I was ready for him to like, give me a big long speech about getting it. And he was just like, okay. And I just moved on to the next thing. I was like, he didn't even want to talk to me about it or nothing. He just said, okay. And just moved on. And when I saw the nurse practitioner prior to him, she said the same thing to me. She said, are we going to do a, a um, COVID shot? And I was like, mm, I don't think so. And she was like, okay. So they, they weren't pushing it in my doctor's office at all. Oh, you're on oxygen. You lost your brother at 39 years old of pancreatic cancer. That's so young. That is so young. There's just so much disinformation. I may have to choose between the shot and my job. Really? Well, look at what they did to Angelina. They told her that she couldn't um, go to school unless she got the shot or I paid $1,500. 2009, wow, he's so young. My dad passed at 49. Oh my gosh, honey, you've had a lot of, a lot of sorrow in your life. When my mom passed last year, I took enough of her shirts and had a memory teddy bear made for my girls. Oh, Denise, that's great. That's awesome. Yeah, I've heard about them. The memory teddies, I guess they're pretty popular. Then last year I was found to have lung cancer and had my lower left lobe removed. Oh, Pam. Gosh, and how's your breathing with that, with the lower left gone? Is it, is it good or do they have to have you on oxygen? I had to choose to get it and work, refuse it and be out. A lot of healthcare places have made it mandatory. I know, Nola. I know, honey. I miss my brother so much. We were best friends. I know. I feel bad for Massimo sometimes because um, <clears throat> Denali was his best friend. So Harley Kitten. So the news is, I, I talked about it um, yesterday during, I think, T's live. Um, my daughter has decided to surrender, give up resign, not go, I don't know what the word is, um, to Eckerd College. So I didn't have to, I was going to pay the $1,500, um, but she decided literally seven days before school starts that she didn't want to go to Eckerd. Um, she has enrolled in Palm Beach, um, Palm Beach, um, Palm Beach State, Palm Beach State. She's on their volleyball team. Her tuition is not being paid for for the first semester. It's not really that much money. I know that I'll be able to swing it. Um, I'm just going to work a little harder. <laughs> and um, But the coach said that she's going to... Um, he, she, the coach said that he's go he is going to make sure that she gets an athletic scholarship for the second semester. So... No, it's fine. You know what? Not, not every student that graduates is ready to fly the coop, let's say, and, and leave. Um, 
Some kids want to stay home. My daughter wants to stay home. My daughter's very, very, very close with um, not only her sister, but Massimo too. Very, very close. And with me, you know, we are very, very close. My, my daughter's, what happened? Power outage. Oh, gosh. It happens. My, I'm sorry? It happens. Yeah, it does. Hi, Jim. Welcome in, honey. Like My daughters, you guys, are honestly, I know that they say you have to be a parent, but my daughters are honestly my best friends. They are my absolute best friends in the whole wide world, and they feel that way about me. So the, 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 um, the separation would have been really, really hard on, hi, Michelle. Oh, welcome in. The separation would have been really, I mean, Chesie has been crying all summer because her sister's leaving. I mean, I couldn't even talk about it. I'd get choked up. I mean, she was only going to be four hours away and Jill is over there and Carl Bach is over there and Dale is over there. And, you know, I feel like I have enough friends over there that if something, God forbid, were to happen, I could have called someone. Hi, Jules. Welcome in. <clears throat> Pam, it's, it's an amazing gift to be this close with my daughters. Like, I don't know. I don't know any friends that are as close um, to their children as I am with mine. Like, it's really, really unbelievable. And even, hi, Cindy. And even Massimo, I mean, Massimo still calls me mama. He's 20 years old, 21 years old. And he calls me mama in front of his friends and he'll kiss me and, and hug me when he sees me. And your daughters are amazing. The kids love them. They are like extended family to them. Oh my gosh, Brie. My daughter said she was playing on the courts. So Brie's, mother lives very close to this park that my daughter plays beach volleyball at um, and trains with a private coach. And Bree's kids go down to the park and they watch her play um, when she's down there playing. And, uh, she, and she tells me all the time that they come up and they're like, Angelina, you know, and, and she's like, she has her own little like bosses. She has her own little like fan club <laughs> on the sidelines as she's watching. Cause they're always like yelling her name and, and waving to her. <laughs> it's really cute, Brie. She loves that your kids come and watch her play. Brie's kids are young, um, but the park is, you know, very, very close to the grandmother's house. Flippin' Flamingos, well, welcome in. Hello, hello. Statistics are showing that a high percentage of people in the hospital and now with, with COVID are vaccinated. Little Kay, hi, honey. Where have you been? It's so good to see you. Oh, thanks, Jules. Yeah, it's a treasure. It really is. It's a treasure. You guys, 84 of you here. Thank you so much for such a late night pop-up auction. It really warms my heart. Barbara Paul, thank you for coming in. I was um I was actually texting with um I was texting with Elsie and I was texting with Heather MC. Hope you guys don't mind that I say that. But I was saying to them, they were asking him if I was coming in and I was saying that um, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I was going to come in. I wasn't sure if I wanted to sell. I wasn't sure if I just wanted to chat. It always makes me feel better to come on and be surrounded by friends. You know, I don't, um, I don't, I don't go to like any kind of like grief groups or therapy groups, or I don't see a psychiatrist. Um, I don't do any of that kind of stuff. You guys are kind of like my therapy. And then my old, old friends, you know, that live up in Boston that never watch me. Um, they're also my therapy too. So I just want to thank you guys so much. Oh, uh, is it 1111? Anthony, you're so sweet. Thank you, sweetheart. You're so sweet. You're awesome. And I will get those records out to you, honey. I'm sorry. I haven't gotten them out yet, but I will. 
Um, yes. So you are, you, you, I can honestly say you are my therapy and I appreciate each and every one of you for the kind words. And I am going to have a no tolerance bullying. If anybody says anything, Dora, honey, if anyone says anything that is inappropriate, Shriker knows or mean towards me, like they have the trolls that have come in. Hi, Steve. They're being blocked. That's it. No questions asked. Boom. They're done. They're out of here because you know what? It not only affects me, but it affects you guys too. Because um, when you guys are reaching out to me and saying things like, when I saw those the, the comments in the chat and it, it broke my heart and it made me cry. It, it affects it affects you guys too. So, yeah. Thank you, Dee's Donatella. Dang it! Tell Shriker Twenty, I'm always inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. You're safe. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. Donna, I've been around. I need to text you. Okay, little K. Text me, honey. Renee, I'm the the 1500 was for testing and that kind of thing. The 1500 was for her to be tested every two weeks. It was to cover the cost of testing. And even my daughter was like, can I just go down to CVS and get it done for free? I'm like, yeah. But they wanted, um, they wanted to, um, I miss your morning talk with your best friend up north every morning like clockwork. Right, Brie? I, I know because I would when Brie was when Brie was uh, she was like my assistant, you know, I'm not going to say working for me. She literally was like my assistant when I had my thrift shop um, for years. You know, I've talked about it before. She Brie was it like four years that we were together. I think I had the shop for five years and I think you were with me for four years of the five. Um, I would pick her up every morning. Um, to go to work and I would be on the phone with my girlfriend, either Susan or Jane, who you guys have met Jane. She's been on with me every morning. We would have coffee together every single morning. Yeah, that's changed. I don't, I now I have coffee with tea. Yes. She says a bologna, right? 1500. Now I have coffee with tea every morning um, to plan our, our schedule and our day and, you know, to decide. Rebecca, hello, sweetheart. You guys, them flipping cruders is in the house. Good to see you. Hey, B. Sue. Good to see you also. That's ridiculous. You can get free testing. They have a clinic on most campuses and they would test them there and bill your insurance. Nope, they wanted $1,500. They wanted $1,500. And then, you know, the other thing that I didn't talk about, and um, I actually was going to send this letter, and, you know, I, I, I talked to T about it, and she's like, Donna, do not bring politics up on your channel. Um, the other thing that my daughter was very, very upset about was her... I don't know if it's called, I'd have to pull it up and my phone is hooked up as my second camera. I don't know if it's political science or if it's social studies or whatever it's called on college level. Her professor sent her a letter and said, welcome to Eckert. We're so happy that you're going to be with us and you're going to be joining us at this beautiful school, blah, 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 blah. It was a big, long letter. And in the body of the letter, it said... Um, our country has suffered some, a great deal of, during the last administration, we are now on the path to a greater and better America with our new current administration. And my daughter's 18 years old. At 18 years old, you really don't know yet if you're going to be a Republican or a Democrat. You're still learning. Yeah, she's learned some stuff, you know, and yes, there are some some influence from parents, you know, if they sway one party or the other. But she is at such a vulnerable young age right now to make a decision as to whether or not she wants to join the Republican Party or the Democratic Party. And to have a professor 
at a college that she's about to attend. I actually was going to send the letter to Governor DeSantis because I think that it was so extremely in, inappropriate for her professor to write this. Um, that bothered her a lot. So she called, uh, she called her admissions counselor and asked to be transferred from that class because of the letter that the professor sent her. And they said no. The admissions um, said no, that, that they, they wouldn't transfer her. And that really bothered her too. Um, she didn't have a problem that the professor was a, a liberal and was a Democrat and believed in Biden, in, in Biden and Pelosi and, you know, that whole gang. She didn't have a problem with that. She had a problem with the fact that she's, my daughter has a really good head on our shoulders. She had a problem that she's still very, very young and that she wants to be able to decide for herself and not have a professor that's leaning her towards one party and not the other. She's incredible, my daughter. She's got such a good head on her shoulders. Um, Jeanette, Jeanette's not writing random thoughts right now. She just said Donna sent that letter to DeSantis. Jeanette, see, she's not just being random. <laughs> You're talking about Juliana, now you said Jeanette. Oh, Jeanette. Oh, I was doing Juliana. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But Juliana said school advisors should be able to help with student taxes. Well, it wasn't student taxes. Right, Kyle? It's true. <laughs> go, go down, go, says Shiker. You know I'm sitting over here pacing the floor. Why? Because you want me to get started, Gary? Is that why he's saying that? Tell her no, to pick up. Uh, he's saying that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> is it because he wants me to get started? Tell her to pick the one she sides with the most and remember to always be herself. She is not her party. Always think for her for yourself, right? Um, it was for like Amy, it was like um like like I don't know what they call it on college level, but it was like social studies, like in high school, because I didn't go to college. So in, in high school, we would call it like, so political science or social studies or like, you know, that kind of class. I almost posted it on my Facebook page. But I just didn't want to cause any problems. Hi, Maddie. Welcome in, honey. I have been busy donating all the clothing I got from the four storage units. I finally had it with all those clothes I'm getting in my house back one truckload at a time. Oh, what a good idea, Rebecca. Now, where did you come up with that idea? I'm just curious where you came up with that idea. Rebecca, finally, you should have listened to me three years ago. <laughs> I told you to do that three years ago. Three years ago, I told her to do that. I said, get in there, take the best of the best and donate the rest. She, she got, I think she got it for free. I think she bought a storage unit and then she got like two more of them for free from the, from the manager's place, from the manager facility. And you guys, she found thousands of dollars in one of, one of the storage units like Rebecca, write in the chat how many thousands of dollars you found. Thousands of dollars. And then we were um we were doing FaceTime, live FaceTime, four units for free she got. And we were on FaceTime talking on FaceTime. This was like three years ago. Political science. Yeah, probably. And She's going through, she's going through some stuff. She had a box and she's going through the box. And I saw it live with my own eyes. Ten thousand she found ten thousand dollars cold hard cash in the storage unit. And we're she's going through a box and she's like pulling stuff out. And all of a sudden, she goes, oh, oh, oh. she's going like this. And I'm like, Rebecca, what's the matter? She was like, we were FaceTiming each other. And she pulls out this wad of more money and fans out this huge wad of cash. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, right, Rebecca, remember? Okay, little Kay, thank you, honey. Yes, text me. 
Text me. Hi, Janine. Hello, hello. Yeah. She found another wad, a huge wad of money. I said to her, I said to her, I said, I would be in that mini storage. She had three of four of them. Yeah, see, she's writing yes. I said, I would be in that in that storage unit. I would be moved in going through every single one of those boxes. Yeah, every pocket. Looking for more money. Here it is three years later, and she's still. You better go through every bit of that clothing, finding all that crazy money in there. Oh yeah, I don't remember, Rebecca. How much was it when we were when we were talking on the phone on Facetime that you found it was, it was several hundreds of dollars. She said ten thousand. No, 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 ten thousand. She found on her own. Oh. She found more when we were talking on the phone. It was like rolled up in a sock or something, wasn't it, Rebecca? It was crazy. It was really, it was $500. It was, was it rolled up in a sock? Do I remember correctly? It was a long time ago. It was three, probably plus years ago. She got the units for free, Anthony. She got them for free, but she's been paying on them, but not very much where she lives storage units. It's not like down here where it's like $350 a month for, you know, small unit. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it was in a sock. I think she would like pulled out a sock and, and it was like all this money it was crazy. It was crazy. It was awesome. She deserves it. It was great. So, but she's finally getting to all those boxes. All right. So, you know what I'm going to show right out of the gate? Okay. I'm going to show this right out of the gate. All right. Are you ready, guys? Let me put this on. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring an assortment of stuff, and you guys don't forget, T T is gonna be going on. Dun dun dun. T's going on at twelve tomorrow. I'm gonna be with her as soon as I'm done with the. Uh, try to pull this over so that you don't see that black. I'm gonna go, you guys. You convinced me. I'm gonna go to um. Um, the girls' volleyball game. All right, you guys, it's graded. It's graded a number eight CGC Fantastic Four, number 211. Hello, Denali. Um, it is in perfect condition. No cracks, no scratching, no nothing on here. Let's start it at 30. What's it say there? White pages? Good. White oh, page. uh, sorry, KF. I, I forgot. Uh, KF said she found some red red Dior bottom shoes, wanting to know how much to sell them for. I have a question. I went to Savers and found Christian Dior red bottom. How much should I sell? They're Christian Dior. Are you sure they're not Louboutini? I, I don't know about Christian Dior red bottom shoes. I have no idea. Best thing to do. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I think the best thing to do is just look them up on, um, on eBay. Undersolds. You want to look undersolds on eBay. Don't look to see what people posted them for. Fantastic Four. Oh, they were in the case. Ooh, sounds like a nice score. Introducing a new superstar in Mighty Marvel universe Terax behold okay oh, please erase that thank you what did she write oh how much uh, sh she paid for the shoes yeah yeah she's she's she was talking about the shoes. Oh, because of, um, oh, she put, I paid. Oh, because you thought that it was a bed? Well, it can be confusing real quick. Mm -hmm. 
I agree. And it's got that hologram. And I actually expected someone to put a hundred in real quick on this. <laughs> Kyle's at 60. And Carl's been asking for these and he's probably fast asleep. Right. Yeah, it's a little late for him, so. Yeah, don't tell him, you guys. See, there's well, that's what I expected right there. Yeah, don't tell him that I sold it. <laughs> Kyle's going to tell him. Because he'll be really mad. Because he's been asking and asking. Asking and asking. Kyle Elliott's like, yes. Well, 8.0 is pretty respectable. Yeah. Harley comes in at 110. What year is the comic? How do I tell what year it is? You should say it there in Marvel Comics 10 of 79. October 7, uh, 1979? Yep. Oh, there it is, October, 1979. Kyle's out. Harley's at 1.30. It's beautiful, it's in great condition. Thank you everyone so much for being here. Look at all you guys. Don't forget the thumbs up, you guys. Please go over and, and uh, give me a thumbs up on the video. I really appreciate it. I love spending my Friday nights with you. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> don't don't tell me you met the ninety two people in chat. I said it to the ninety two people in the chat uh, room. I didn't say it to you. You were being fresh in the back room, fresh as in he was being. I don't even know what he said. I'm like, gosh, Riker, what would you? What did you say? I have no idea. I know not not fresh not fresh as in like like fresh as in like what you're probably thinking fresh, fresh as in like, um, well, you're going on live. It's, uh, kind of early for you to be going on live. It's we're right on time. <laughs> like something like that. <laughs> I mean, he didn't say that specific thing, but along that line, I'm like, Oh my gosh, when did you get so like bold and fresh calling me out on stuff like that? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Frank. It is Heather. You see how my my you see how it changed my um my mood and my personality personality. All right, let's send it off to Harley. All right, Harley. Congratulations. Can you uh will you show a lot of books next? Hold on. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop you in. All right. I got Donner bucks to spend. Kyle, you're holding on to the Donna bucks. Harley, congratulations, honey. You're holding on to those Donna bucks. You need to you need to let go. I think you and Saxton and a couple of other little ones are all that's left. Hey Marilyn. Marilyn, hello, hello. Are you ready? Sure. Thank you, Heather. How many are there? All right, let's see. 
here comes Striker, you guys. All right. We're going to do a lot of World War II books. There are 13 of them. We'll start it at $20. Looks like most of the hardcovers. Uh, first one is Auschwitz, A New History by Lawrence Reese. Then we have Combined Fleet Decoded by John Prados, The Secret History of American Intelligence and the Japanese Navy in World War II. Anthony, no truer comment. Can you believe it? I just went over and checked it. It's unbelievable. Why even bother watching? You guys, please go give the thumbs up to counteract the 11 thumbs down that I just got when I reminded people about thumbs up and thumbs down. Jeez. It was just six a second ago. I know, just six. So it's like six people are watching and they're like, oh, screw her. I'm going to give her a thumbs down. Why, right. even, why even be here? Go away. Mean, mean people, mean. All right, Wartime by Paul Fussell, Understanding the Behavior in the Second World War. Thumbs down are good for the channel, so joke is on them. Yep. Oh, and then we have The Third Reich in Power by Richard J. Evans. It's a nice big paperback. Nice clean. The Secret War with Germany, Deception, Espionage, and Dirty Tricks, 1939-1945, by William Brewer. Another hardcover. There are 13 books in this lot. Kyle's in for 20. We have Hitler's Death, Russia's Last Great Secret from the Files of the KGB. Another hardcover. Target Hitler, The Plots to Kill Adolf Hitler by James P. Duffy and Vincent L. Ricci. Panzer Warfare on the Eastern Front by Hans Schaller. Oh, Schaffler. See, I thought there was some illustrations in this one. A few illustrations, not many. All black and white. Interesting books. Yep, everything about World War II. On the Road to the Wolf's Lair, German Resistance to Hitler by Theodore Hamero. Paperback. And that one's by Harvard University Press. Uh, Berlin Dance of Death by Helmut Altner. Paperback. And this one's still brand new in the shrink wrap. Uh, Inside Hitler's High Command by Jeffrey Megargi. It's by Uni University Press of Kansas. Brand new still. Mr. Taranzio's in the house. Yep, he just showed up, but he doesn't have any volume. And we have Battle of Wits, the complete story of code breaking in World War II. It's also a hardcover, and it does have some illustrations. Still creaking. It's never been opened before. Is Diva registered? Let me see. Diva Susie, are you registered, my dear? I'm going to check yeah. the registration. She was I'll, not too long ago. I'll go look. And Becoming Eichmann by David Cesarani. Also a nice hardcover. Hi, Mr. Tasman. Germany look like Missouri. <laughs> and it also has some illustrations in it. So that is 13 books. Oh. Um, 
from World War II. Yes, Diva is um, the state is misspelled, but um, I know which what state it is. But yes, she's um, she's registered. Let me find her and give her a wrench. B. Sue's at thirty. Thank you. Pam's at thirty-two. Diva, when you have a moment, can you, hi, Libby. Welcome in. When you have a moment, can you fill out a new registration and just correct the state for me, please? And if there's anybody watching in the background and you'd like to register, I'm looking for your link, Shriker. It's probably oh, right yeah. at the beginning. You have it, so I can pin it to the top. Sure. Uh, this one has a little tear up at the top of the jacket there. Heavy book. And yeah. you guys know there's a way to... Hi, Lisa. Hi, honey. Um, there's a way to delete the pinned message. You guys just, just hover yeah. over the three little dots, and then it just says, like, dismiss or something, so you can just get rid of it. Uh, Marilyn, that's not one I read, actually. Hi, Lisa. I guess you can't read that too much. The, the de definitive account of Germany's malign transformation under Hitler's total rule and the inexorable march to war. Oh, Frank, I'm so glad that you liked it, honey. Thank you. It was beautiful, right? Where are we at anyway? Oh, Pam Henry. Very good. All right. 13 books total. Wow, 15 thumbs down. A bunch of jerks. <laughs> they'll disappear later. I know, they'll disappear by the morning, but... Diva comes in at 40. Oh, Frank's going to hold it until Christmas. Awesome, Frank. What's that? The jewel, that beautiful jewelry box that he bought from me. Oh, yeah. Oh, the abalone, or not the abalone. What did he say it was? I don't remember what he said it was. Oh, really, Deborah? I'm sure it was life changing. I always say that some that people should visit an oncology, a pediatric oncology floor just once in their life because that's life changing also. Because don't believe those commercials that you see on uh, St. Jude with all those smiling, cute little kids with their bald heads because that's all made for Hollywood lies. That's not the way it is at all. Trust me. Yeah. Reality wouldn't make good television, would it? No. No. If they showed the screaming, crying babies that are in the oncology floors at hospitals, pediatric oncology floors, that wouldn't, that would not sell. People wouldn't watch. So they make them cutesy. All right. Anybody need to say anything? You got Diva at 40. 42 would be the next advance. It'll go twice. If you want to get in, come on in. It's a pretty good lot. 
World War II is great. I'm seeking books about the calendar. Not really sure what she means by that. I am not either. Yeah, and I used to watch those. I used to watch those movies late at night. Those Saint Jude movies. Oh my gosh, they used to put them on late at night. You know, asking for donations and stuff. <clears throat> All right, we're going to sell it to Diva. All right, Diva, all yours for $40. You can send me a PayPal to my email here. Or if you'd rather, I can send you an invoice. So either way is fine. If I don't get payment uh, by Monday morning, I'll send you an invoice on Monday. All right. All right. What do you got? I'm going to show some more comics. Okay. Why not? Uh, Lee, don't don't be deleting anybody, please. What happened? Uh, Lee probably hit a button there. Oh, Camille. Oh, I'm sorry, not Lee. That was uh, Camille that did that. Sorry. Yep. Oh, Camille. That's okay, Camille. She probably, maybe she fell asleep. I'm sure it was an, an accident. Lee B, don't leave. You'll be 300 seconds is a long time, but you'll no, be back. It wasn't a timeout. It was just a deletion of a message. So. Oh, okay. Lee is still here. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. No problem, Camille. Oh, that's okay, Camille. <laughs> yeah. No deleting beer. We like beer here. <laughs> right, Kyle? <laughs> Uh, yeah, the pinned the pinned message can be annoying sometimes. I'm sorry, but if there's anybody that's watching in the background, you know, it's it's easy for them. All right, so I'm gonna do a lot of comics. Let's see what I've got here. I haven't been doing comics lately. They're in no specific order, you guys. You know how I am with comics. Here's a number one nomad. It's a Marvel comic. Number one nomad. And then here is a Marvel Nick Fury shield. Yeah, that's Agent. a good one. Shield is really hot. Is that? Yep. It's number 44. See, I've never heard of it. Let's see. This is the new... Uh, Force of Nature versus the New Warriors, number 29. So John Jones asks, what do you think about St. Jude's? Um, so you want me to be honest? You what? know I'm honest. St. Jude turned their backs on us. When we called St. Jude to help us with... Um, so I'm going to put myself on the screen for this. When we, um, when we didn't contact them, actually, um, the University of Miami um, Medical Hospital, the Holt Center, which is where um, we had to bring Denali before we went to Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York City, they contacted St. Jude, and St. Jude probably, St. Jude said, sorry, there's nothing we can do for um, your son. He's going to die in three months and there's nothing we can do. So basically if, um, if St. Jude has a clinical trial running on a type of cancer that your child is battling, um, they get money for the clinical trials through the government um, and through private resources, and they will treat your child for free if there's a clinical trial running. Because of the rarity of my son's cancer being pancreatic pediatric cancer, um, there never ever has been a clinical trial ever in history of pediatric pancreatic cancer. So long story short, yes, they were contacted and they told us that we basically were on our own and they couldn't help us. They kind of just turned their backs on us. 
So how do I feel about St. Jude? Don't like them. I mean, I could be an understanding mom and understand why they turned their back on us, but I'm not an understanding mom. mom. I also don't like the Ronald McDonald charities, and I have a story about that too. Um, they turned their backs on us as well. Here's another shield. Um, here is the NOM, number 42. So all of this, you guys, while we were battling the disease, we had to deal with. Um, here's number 18, New Gods. Um, we had to deal with all of the, uh, the red tape of trying to get proper care. Kyle is out. Mr. Taranzio, why are you leaving? Um, my, my story is making you sad. 21. I don't think so. Here's number 22. Here's the Outlaws number one. First issue. We lived in the Ronald McDonald house three times. I still get bills. I wish people knew what happened. Oh, well, we just puppets just get money just saying. Believe me, you don't want to stay at the Ronald McDonald house unless you have changed since I was there. Right, Lisa? We never stayed there. They wouldn't let us stay there. Um, this is number two. And they get so much money. And they still turned us down. There's number three. And here is a DC comic called Question, number 27. St. Jude was really kind to my family during my daughter's hospital stay, even paid for gas for us to get back and forth to be with her. Well, Captain, you were very lucky. And I'm so glad that they treated you so well. There's number eight. Here is The Ray, DC Comics, number one. This one is pretty cool. It's Robin, The Joker 2. It's a number three, and it's got that awesome card in the front of it. It's a good-looking one. Here's another one with the with a card, Robin 2. And that one is number two, and this one is number one. Number one. And this is a number 35 Starman by DC Comics. And here is a number four, Robin, with the Joker. So that's a good run. Did you see a number three? I don't recall number three. I don't know. I see They're one and two. One, two. Yeah, there it one, is. Two, All right. three, one, four. two, three, and four. Good. Yep, one, two, three, and four. You got a nice little run there. Okay, here is a number one, Rebels 94. And here's a number 11, Robin. Here's a Ragman, number six. This one is a number zero Rebels. These are like brand new, you guys. They're in excellent, like never opened condition. Here's a number 12 Robin. Here is a three of five and here's two of five. Let's see if there's any more of those. All right, good night, Beaver. Beaver's going to bed. Sounds that way. Good night, Beaver. This one's not opened. Um, Resurrection Man, DC, Gotham, DOA. Okay. Justice League America, The Deadly New Extremist, number 79. Justice League Task Force, number three. Justice League number 23. Again, these are not bagged and boarded, but they're excellent condition. Here's region number 29. 
number 13, number 42, and here is a number one. Here's a number one. Here is a number 62, 61. Here's a number four. Here's a number 18, a number 10, a number 30, a number 27, and a number 57. Pam is at 80. Thank you, Pam. Here is number zero. <laughs> 15, 43, 28. The new Mr. Miracle, number 23. Mr. Miracle again. Martian Manhunter. Number two. Number 10, here is number one. And here's another number one. There's two number ones. Mr. Tree, it looks like number three. Mr. Tree, number three, how come they're all, oh my gosh, what's going on with this woman? Is she pregnant? Mr. E. Huh. Mr. E. Is she pregnant? Yeah, well, kind of looks that way. Martian Manhunt. I don't know. I've never uh, seen him before. Okay, here's New Gods again. It's the final issue, you guys, number 28. This one is Flash, the fastest man alive. Do you know him? Yeah, I can't believe you don't know Flash. Flash. Here's Final Night. Here's number 68 is Flash. Here's number zero is Fate. Here's number four, Mosaic. Green Lantern, number seven. Green Arrow, number 61. Emerald Dawn, this must be the green section, See, number four. Flash is Bluegrass's favorite. Oh, is it? Hmm. Green Lantern again, number four, and Swamp Thing. All right. Here we have Swamp Thing again. Emerald Dawn 2 Riot. Here's a Green Lantern, number 39, bagged and boarded. Green Lantern, seventy-five cents, two twenty-one. This one's at number one, Gunfire. This one is Guy Gardner, Reborn. And here's another Guy Gardner, DC Comics, and that's the whole lot. All right, we've got B. Sue at one twenty. Anyone else want to come in? Thank you, Barbara. Huge CB lot. What's CB? Uh, one of the comics. I don't remember what you were showing. What's, what's the initials for CB, Harley? What did that first one sell for? Do you remember? I didn't write it down. Uh, the Fantastic Four was 130 To Harley, 130 Okay, thanks. All right, we're going to call it down if nobody else is coming in. Going once. Oh, thanks, B. Sue. There are some nice ones. I do have some nice ones. Oh, comic book is CB, Texas Bell. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I was trying to make it too complicated. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's crazy. What's wrong with me? Um, Saxon, he, he's sending them to me, the cookies, right, Jim?
No, I'm not. Texas Val. I'm really not that tired. I just, I don't know. I just didn't know what that abbreviation was. It just didn't, it didn't register in my brain. It just didn't register. <laughs> Harley comes in at 1.30. Harley Handler. Let's see. What did I do with that box? Oh, she's looking for brownies. I, I'd rather have brownies too, Jim. Yeah, but you know the kind of brownies she's looking for. Yeah, I doubt if Jim is, though. I don't think Jim can have brownies work in the profession that he works. I'm sure they're drug tested constantly. You guys put your professions in the chat. I'm curious. Are you a full-time reseller or do you have another full-time job? I'm curious what you're doing. Good night, Amy. Good night, Amy. Thank you so much for coming in, sweetheart. Rebecca, good night, honey. Don't forget the thumbs up on the way out the door. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for, for cheering me up and... Marilyn's a brain surgeon. John Jones is a gigolo. You guys. Retired, no job. Good for you, Captain. I wondered if we were going to get some outlandish ones. I love it. AC and heating business owner and very part time reseller. Oh, really, Texas Bell? Andrea, hello, honey. I know what you are. But hopefully, fingers crossed, January, full-time reseller. Really, Andrea? You're going to give it up? Valerie, retired lunch lady. Oh, Mary. Part-time stripper. Who wrote that? <laughs> Mary Pisano. <laughs> oh, Mary. You're fresh. Full-time, full-time, Karen says. Full-time greeter on Donna and T's channels. I work at a research lab, but I'm off on sick leave. Oh, really? Really, Pam? I have two jobs and then do part-time reselling on the side. Retail job and quality inspector of circuit boards at a manufacturing plant. Homemaker, homeschooled two children over 12 years, reseller part-time. I do home therapy for kids with autism. Do you, Misty? Wonder Woman, what are you writing? I'm a retired nurse, but also disabled due to my heart. I'm sorry, Barbara. Used to work office manager for a doctor. Lisa says she was a medication technician, former lunch lady, but now is retired. Lawn mowing and pressure washing business, four boots, 1,700 listings on eBay, YouTube guitarist and mandolin, starting YouTube channel to teach each. Just started a new thing, painting mural art. Oh my gosh, Anthony, you're so busy. Mr. Tasman, welcome in, full-time reseller and hustler. Uh, give, Lisa, give Lisa Jenkins a wrench if you can. Oh, I will. She doesn't have a wrench? No. Okay. Harley says, just a collector. B. Sue says, reselling on the side. Andrea says, I'm so sick of the medical field, especially now, right? And also chosen goods. And we don't have anything on Wander. Proud cat of owner who sits on my keyboard. 
Also, cook, maid, nurse, caregiver from my mom since my dad passed away. Bless your heart, Val. That's awesome. Chosen Goods Reseller, how are you, honey? Thanks yeah, for coming in. Back. Okay, I'm going to go over to my YouTube in one second. Chosen Goods, what did you, what'd you do with your wrench, Chosen? Do we have all the information on Wonder Woman? We don't have anything on Wonder Woman. Okay. So she'll have to do a, a form. Oh, I'm so glad you're doing better, you guys. Send send prayers to Chosen Good. She's she struggles with uh I don't really know. I know it's I know I know you have I know you have things that go on and on in your life. I still do medication technician, do you? Long ago did form. Did you change your name, Wonder Woman? I left my wrench at the hospital. Did you just get out of the hospital again? Jill, where have you been? Oh, you did? Jill, I got to call you and give you the update. Angelina, Angelina enrolled in another college. She's playing her first scrimmage tomorrow. She's she's doing good. She's she's good. She's my husband's not doing that good, but she's doing good. Hi Jade. Three times in six weeks. Do you want to share with us what you have? I don't know if you want to share with us what you have. Because I don't really know what you have. I know that you, you've posted on the, in the chat that you've been in the hospital. And she's young, you guys. She's a young, she's a very young woman. She's a very young woman. Yeah, she's going to do fine, Chosen Goods. She's going to do just fine. All right, did I miss who won this? Uh, Harley Handler for 130. Harley, that's the magic number tonight. Harley, do you still have a gift certificate with me? I think you might have some money left on it. I don't remember. Fern, darling, where have you been? Oh, my goodness. It's so good to see you. You guys send out prayers to my other darling. I hope he's home from the hospital. <laughs> uh, yeah, Susan, we've started already. <laughs> Harley says, no, I don't, Donna. All right, Harley. Thank you. I couldn't remember if you did or not. Lot number two, 130. Um, did she write what she has? Susan, you're not back. You've been sitting here the whole time. You're just saying that to give me a hard time. Okay, here we go. DOC cut vein artery during surgery. Doctor cut vein artery during surgery in 2004. Sewed it together. Then I had more than 20% diff blood clots a pulmonary embolism, and a stroke and heart problems. Just had my 70th surgery. Can you believe it? I was so lucky. I was in nursing school when it happened. Oh, my God. Actually was in my second year of nursing. I'm a stay-at-home mom, laugh out loud, but wear so many hats. I sell on eBay, have some booths, and we have a farm and a homeschooling. Oh, my God, chosen goods. You know, I, I'm, I read that, and I'm like, I, I'm going to bring you in, Stryker. I read that, and I consider myself so lucky because it was just two years ago 
I had an infection on my leg. And when they went in to remove the infection, they cut um, an artery and they, it was like an outpatient thing. And I had to get rushed into surgery. Like the, I remember the doctor, I was, they gave me that, what's that, what's that drug that, um, that, um, Michael Jackson died of you guys, Pepeperol, Pepeferol. I don't know, but that's what I had twice last year. Yeah. What's it called? I, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah. It's uh, Pepeferol, you guys. Somebody write it in the chat. But that's what they gave me when they were in there, like, cutting out the infection that I had. Because I, I had this, like, little cyst that just wouldn't heal. So they will, they went in to surgically remove it. No, you don't have to register each time, Donnie. No, it wasn't fentanyl. It Propofol. wasn't fentanyl. Yeah. Propofol. 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 Yeah, that's what they gave me. Propofol. Yeah, that's what they gave me. And I I was I was kind of out of it, but kind of awake at the same time. And I could I could see all the nurses like talking and the doctor performing the little minor outpatient um, surgery that I was having. And then last thing I remember was the doctor saying, I can't stop the bleeding. And then he came right up to my face and he said, we need to take you into surgery. I can't stop the bleeding. And that was the last thing I remembered. And then I woke up in ICU um, from a minor little surgery and they cut the wrong artery. It was in my groin area. And I guess you have a lot of like main arteries there in your, in your groin area. So I read Chosen Goods and I was so lucky. I was in the hospital for, I think I was in the hospital. I was in ICU, I think for one day. And then I was in the hospital for like three. Do you guys remember that? And then I went right back to work. We were doing auctions with tea. I went right back to work. Like, I think the day after I got out of the hospital, I was like selling. I couldn't even sit. It hurt so much because it was like right in my inside groin area. Yeah, you can wrench Wander and Lisa. Okay. So I'm so sorry that happened to you, Chosen Goods. I wonder where hers was. Where where was yours that they did the surgery on that they cut? Oops, I just removed her wrench. Hold on. Okay. Where did they cut you? Allergic, excuse me, allergic to both meds that allow awake jewelry. All Sweet right. Day. All right, I wrenched you. That's all I'm bring. That's all I'm bringing, Kyle. You lost your chance. I was just brought that one, but I'll do another. I'll do another. I have one more bucket of comics here, and then then I'll maybe I'll do some fabric or I don't know. Maybe we'll chit chat, but. Let me do another lot of comics since I have it right here. And, and Schreiker has some more books. Kyle's not going to want my books, though. Let's see what's in here. Let's see if anybody wants. Oh, I've got this nice fall decorations I might show. And then I was going to try to do some one-off fabric, only if you guys are in the mood for that. Kyle wants fabric. No, you want fabric. <gasps> Hers was in the groin too. Yeah, that's a giant artery down there. Oh my god, I was so lucky. Okay, Marilyn. I'll show some. Yeah, mine was in the groin also. What was why did they do surgery on her in this from the start? Did she say? No, I haven't done any. I haven't done any plush. Did you like the plush lot that you got from me? I hope you liked it. She bought a really nice plush lot from me. All right, let's do this really quick. I'm just. Oh, it was. Oh, it was an up top. It was. Oh, it was a pregnancy. I can't pronounce that word. Where it's like is that's the pregnancy where it's in the fallopian tube, thirteen weeks along. Wow. 
<laughs> Saxton. Oh my gosh, I was so lucky reading what she's been through. I was so lucky. Okay, here, let me put this on. It was bad, though. Oh my God, it was so bad. The New Teen Titans. Peter Cannon Thunderbolt, number one. The New Teen Titans, number 72, number 84. You can see, you guys, these, if these are gradable uh, comics, these are probably worth grading. They're, they're like an excellent, excellent condition. Um, that one's 88. This is Valor, number 23. The Warlord, number five. Here's Wonder Woman, number 58. World Without an without end six of six warlord number four are these like erotic like girly yeah. no just just that one picture is yeah just cover there's nothing not like those other ones i sold no they're not vampirilla that's number one and i can't read what that title is that's all you Zeno brood Xeno Brood, number one. It says number one. It says number one again. Yeah, sometimes they do multiple covers for the same comic. The Young All Stars, number six and number seven. The Young All Stars, number 26. This one's called Zero Hour, number four. Uh-oh, Spider-Man, Man of Steel, 38. He's dead again. Superman dies on every comic. Superman, Man of Steel. That one's 24. This one's 21. Here's a Star Trek, number 35. It's in excellent condition. Superman, number 73. Here's another Star Trek number 23. Here's another Superman number 51. Star Trek 14. Suicide Squad number 65. Suicide Squad. Have I had Suicide Squad before? I don't recall it. But you've only had a few thousand of them, so, you know, maybe. I know. I have a lot. Here's a Superboy number 10. Look at those teeth. Suicide Squad. The Dragons are Heard. Number 56. Number 29. Number 43, number 21. So chosen, can you get, can you get pregnant again since you've had all these surgeries? Are your fallopian tubes intact? Were they able to like fix you so that you can um, have another baby? I'm curious. You don't have to answer. That's a personal question, but since you're sharing, and we're all family here, all 90 of us. <laughs> 24 on Superman. Superman versus Aquaman. This is an excellent, like, brand new condition. Number 43. Number 63. Number 21. I don't know what number this one is. Spelljammer, number 10. She's mean looking. What language is that? That would be English. Is it? And here's another Suicide Squad. She looks mean. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number one. Suicide Squad. 
she says no more pregnancies. I know Jill, but she's sharing. She's sharing like what she's going through. So I, that's why I felt comfortable asking her. Um, hey, Barbara. Welcome in, honey. Unfortunately, I had to have a hysterectomy after my last miscarriage. Maternal fetal medicine said it would kill me and the baby to carry to term. I'm sorry, honey. Thank you for sharing. That's so sweet of you to share with us. 21 Shadow Strikes, Tale of Teen Titans, Tale of Teen Titans again. I don't know what was crossed out on here. The New Titans, The New Titans 103. This one is number 15. Let me pull these over. Number 94, number 39, Starman is number 2, number 8, Starman 31, Star Trek number 3, 37 is Starman again, and then we've got Star Trek number 22, Star Trek number 15, Starman 29, Superman number 8, Star Trek number 15. At this point, I just love to share how much God has done for me. I've had so many doctors tell me I would die and or lose my leg, and I still have my life and my leg. Wow. Oh, sorry, Barbara. That's such a wonderful outlook. Need help deciding whether to just resell as I do now or open an eBay store? Well, the eBay fees are really, really high. So if you're, su if you're successful selling the way you're selling now, I would keep that and maybe expand on it if you're not paying fees. I don't know how you're selling. I don't know if you want to share with us how you're selling, but trust me, eBay fees are really, really high. Um, here's number 40. It's basically 10% of your sale. Sandman. Huh? Sandman. Oh, is that good? Yeah. All right. Very Here's, popular. Is that? Yes. Well, it's an excellent condition. Here's number 43, Suicide Squad number eight. Here is Superman, Man of Steel number 67. Here he is with a whole bunch of Wonder Woman and all his little friends. That's number 20. This one is number zero. That's a really pretty comic. Okay, now we've back to Star Trek 4, Star Trek 14, no, 16. Superman dead again. Star Trek 34, Superman number four, and then Superboy number 12, Star Trek number 47, The Savage Namor, Namar. Yeah, Namor. Namor. Here's Green Arrow number 51. Here is... I can't pronounce that word. Hmm. Gamma Rodders. Gamma Rodders. And then Green Arrow again. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah, right? Phoebe. She's absolutely right. Right. 
Barbara Paul is at 60, 65. Barbara, you need to come in at honey. Superman seems to be a bit of a uh, hypochondriac. <laughs> Why? Well, he dies every every comic, so. Oh yeah. John Jones, are you a reseller? I don't mean to call you out. If that's a personal question, you don't have to answer it. <laughs> Just curious. All right, we need to hear from Marilyn and Sexton. Yes, he's a reseller. Thumbs up. Super drama king. Marilyn is out. Thank you, Marilyn, for bidding. <laughs> That's it. That's a big, it's a big stack, honey. It's a big stack. That's all of them. I've kind of like mastered how many comics can go in, you know, one of these boxes is what I usually, for those of you that get my comics, like these are the boxes that I send them in. They fit perfectly. They don't shift around so they don't get damaged. And it's usually like 12 pounds. So depending on where they're going, you know, in the country, it's anywhere from, you know, 10 to $15 to ship it. So... This is the size box that I've been shipping out. It works well for me. I finally found a box that works really good. Well, it's nice to be able to choose the proper box before you show. Yeah, exactly. That's why, you know, the comics that, you know, they don't require very much wrapping and, you know, bubble wrapping and all of that. That's why when Karen Henderson last night said that she hadn't received the comics, I was perplexed because the comics, like I'll send these out first thing tomorrow morning because it's basically just sealing them up. And then I do wrap them all in, um, I do wrap them in, in black. I wrap everything in black garbage bags because, um, I'm afraid of the rain. I'm not Amazon. If packages get damaged, I can't afford to replace or file claims all the time. And um, Donnie, every day, we'll be on on T's channel. Oh, Schreiker, do you mind going over to T's channel and grabbing her link for tomorrow's auction? And maybe all you guys <laughs> can click on it. What's that? For her all day marathon yeah she said she's gonna try to stay on as much as she can barbara congratulations honey barbara paul got the comics and i'm gonna be on with her um but i'll be uh she'll be showing and i'll be showing also but i'll be also working and shipping since i didn't get you know a lot done today and i have guilt You did chosen 24 hour live listing the other day. How many did you get listed? Because I've been thinking about doing a 24 hour listing marathon myself. Not oh, live. really? Well, I'm not going to do it live, but I want to see how many I can do in 24 hours. Oh my gosh, you want to stay 24 hours and list? You did 120. Okay. She stayed up for 24 hours? Yeah. No, I can't do that. It would take me like three days to recover from that. Yeah, it's just a fun thing, you know. Well, if you didn't want to do it live, you could do a private stream and invite some people into it. Yeah, that's true. She did it online. 
in, in four hours you were zombied yeah <laughs> you know you could just like and people could come and go if, even if they couldn't stay on the whole 24 hours they could right, right. oh she did it online oh my gosh so you can't do a live stream for 24 hours because youtube takes it down after 12 hours so what did you do end it and then restart it no, I don't. I don't think that's true, though. The twelve-hour Donna. No, it is. Because I mean, I've been on Renee's and we've done over thirteen hours. Yeah, but when and it well, when it loads, only twelve. Yeah, hours exactly, will load. exactly. It'll cut it down to twelve hours on the replay. Yes. Oh, she did two and a half hour streams. Two twelve hours, yeah. Oh, two twelve hours. Oh, two twelve hour streams. Yeah, is what she did. Yeah, because YouTube will only give you twelve hours. On the replay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was on Paul's channel, Philly uh, Flipper. You should do it. I won't be joining you. I have to, I do have to list some stuff. I really, really do have to list some stuff. No, let me get your store link so we can clear that out. No, no. Uh, don't drop it. There's nothing in there. I'm so embarrassed from the store. I actually, items. I actually got an um an offer on a pair of shoes today, forty five dollars on a pair of men's shoes. I can't accept the offer. I got to find the shoes first. Hmm. I don't even know where the shoes are. I don't even know where the twenty three items are that I. Ugh. I'm like I've lost. I have lost control of my eBay store. I did 750 in July's challenge. Chosen goods, how many items do you have listed? There was a lot of guests, she said. Oh, that's fun. I sometimes think about doing like a live and inviting people up on the panel to come in and say hello. I used to do that, you know, but I... I got away from it. Oh, but then she was hospitalized. Oh my goodness, thank God you didn't ask about my money pile. That's a that's what people are calling it now instead of my um I just call it my house. <laughs> No, oh, your house. Instead of calling it um, death pile, death pile, right? Death pile. They call it money pile now. Did you get those um, stuffed animals listed? Did you get the one with the with the the mouse with the great big ears that look like double Gijo? Did you get that one, Chosen Goods? I was curious about that one and what it was worth. I don't like the word death pile, right? I know, I, I hear you. So what are you going to show next? Oh, Wonder Woman. Gosh. Thank you. 2015. Um, no, I'm going to let you show next. All right. Oh, you didn't get that one? Who bought that one? That mouse think, one was awesome. I don't think Chosen was even here that night. No, she said I didn't get that one. I wish I did. So she must know which one I she must know which one I'm talking about. It was really old and it had those huge ears, right? It was so cute. I got those out of my to be listed on eBay pile. That plush. I had pulled that plush aside. Oh, I got the, okay, I'm working on him right now, okay. That's the little monkey that were like really, they were, yeah, they were really popular like in the 80s. It was adorable, right? The mouse? Yeah. All right, you ready to show something? Sure. I'm going to go, and then I'll, I think I'll show some fabric because they were all putting fabric in, so... People right. will probably get bored with fabric, but I know some people will like it. Well, this is as close to fabric as you can get. All right, there's 25, and they are almost all quilting books. There's, I think there's two or three non-quilting books, but there's going to be 25 total. And this first one is actually inscribed by the author. 
going to start at $20. Perfect timing with me with the fabric and you with the fabric yeah. box. I had it pulled out yesterday to do last night, but we didn't get to it. So it's a big stack. Let me show you the stack. Oh, and it weighs a lot. That's how many there are. That's awesome. You sure you don't want to divide that into two two lots? Nope. nope. I have more. Okay. Well, that 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 fills the box that I like to use to send out uh, quilts. Round robin. And of course, they're all you know, you know how quilting books are. They're all full of pictures and illustrations. Here is Irma's sampler. The Netherlands by Irma Eskis. Here is 70 classic quilting patterns. Gwen Marston and Joe Cunningham. And miniature Baltimore album quilts. I guess I could open some of them up, but I think you all know how quilting books look these days uh here's on this is a non-quilting debbie mom's country settings so it, it includes other things like recipes and whatnot and this one's a bedroom decorating 61 step-by-step -step projects And Small Talk by Donna Lynn Thomas. Some more quilting. Okay, here's one. Trapunto by Machine. I don't know what it is, but it's some sort of quilting style. Had never heard of Trapunto. Wildflowers by Carol Armstrong. Designs for applique and applique and quilting. Big and easy mini quilts. 17 enchanting projects. Freedom in design. New Directions in Foundation Paper Piecing by Mia Rosman. Trapunto is beautiful. Great. Country Friends Go Quilting. Patchwork Collection of Easy to Make Quilts and Whimsical Crafts for Sharing with Friends. Okay, that's half the stack. Picking up the pieces by Peacemakers, okay. Ah, oh, that's a quilted vest, that's interesting. Decorating with theme quilts. Yeah, gooseberry is always nice. Uh, here's one by Singer, Quilted Projects and Garments. All right, we have Deborah at $50. We need $55 next. Folk Art Foundations in Acrylics. So this is crafting projects, it looks like. Folk art techniques. Uh, Mariner's medallion using foundation paper piecing. The Foundation Piecer, the pattern journal for quilters who love foundation piecing. All right.
class pack quilts. 18 eclectic quilts by teachers and their students. Andrea's at 55. The art and craft of quilting. A beginner's guide to patchwork design, color, and expression by Daisy Grubbs. Patchwork Patterns by Ginny Beyer. Speed Cut Quilts, 1200 Speed Cut Quilt Blocks by Donna Poster. And the last one, the new sampler quilt by Diana Leone. All right, that's all 25. And we're at 55 with Andrea and 60 with Deborah. So that's about 25 pounds, it feels like. Oh, hi, Susan Arrington. Andrea's out and Deborah's out. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Elsie. Anyone else? Susan Arrington at 65. Thank you, Andrea. There are 25 total. And we're at 65, looking for 70. Christy's yeah, asking how many? Uh, 25. Saxton, yes, I've made plenty of quilts from these books. No, I don't think uh, very many of them have actually been opened. Hey, Susan Arrington. The way they feel. But they're usually pretty well made, so... They always feel nice. And the last one was the inscribed one. Right there. Uh, Mary Sue suit. Quilters like to look, yes. All right. 
Well, that's the stack. <laughs> okay, Chosen. <laughs> uh, I'll work on that. All right. All right, Susan is high at 65. Okay. Anyone else? We'll go once. All right, you're going once. For <laughs> Chosen Goods Who wants to buy one of the quilts that you made from them. Right. <laughs> I better get started on that one. I do see a lot of quilts sell down at the auction, though, and boy, they get pricey. Kathy says she got her books and she loves oh. them. Yeah, very, yeah, Kathy's just up the road from me. I was surprised to see that. Very good. And there's Debbie Mums. And we'll... Close it out. Oops. Wrong one. All right. We are sold to Susan Erickson. And Susan, you can send me a PayPal if you like, or if I don't hear from you. By Monday, I'll send you a invoice. There's my email. If you would just want to do a PayPal. Deborah says, Donna, you had Debbie Mum fabric last night. I don't know. I guess I did, right? Was that one of the fabrics? Yeah. A few people commented on it. I probably if have more. Pay, I'll do that tomorrow then. All right. Back to you, Donna. All right. Well, I'm going to do a lot of books since. Um, oh, what kind of books? Oh, I, have, I have these craft books. I just went and got them out of the storage room. Looks like a set. I don't know if the whole set is here. That's the problem. But we'll look. Um, they are numbered. Like this one is number 18. Um, we'll start this at 20. Okay. We'll see where it goes. Um, so this one is do-it-yourself guide to traditional modern home crafts. So I guess this one teaches you how to do, how to cover stools. Um, this one is to make pillows. They're in excellent condition. Um, I don't know. This one's volume six. I mean, they're definitely probably what 80s would you say? Let's I'm sorry, I was having a conversation with what was the question, Donna? Oh, 1975. Yep. Wow, they're in great condition for 1975. I'll just I'll just whip through them and you guys can look and see. Well, can you just it. turn them all up and see if all the numbers are there? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that when I go through them all. See if there's any missing. I'm thinking that I sold some of these in a craft lot, so there might be some numbers missing from them. Yeah. This is a quilt. This one looks like it might be like face painting one. No, I guess I was wrong. They have an assortment of all different things in here, not just face painting, even cooking. All right, Kathy's in for 20. Croissants, shapes to bake. Do you like croissants? I do like croissants. I do too. I like them a lot. Especially when they're so nice and fluffy. 
Yeah. This one looks Are like. You leaving Holly? Good night. Good night, Holly. And then this one. So let's see. This one's eight, 17, 24, 10, 3. I don't have them in any kind of order. 19, 16, 4. There's definitely not 24 or 22 of them here, so it's a miscellaneous lot. 13, volume number 20. This one's number 6. Yeah, I think I could use a croissant right now as well. Number 18 and number 23. And it's a total of... Push this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen books all together. There's fourteen points. of them. Okay. Kathy, a twenty. And, and they're all they're all hardcover, and they're all in excellent condition. Look, I don't think they've been opened. I don't think any, I think probably somebody bought them and maybe they were like that book of the month type of deal, you know, and they would get them delivered. Yeah, one a month. I think so. Like a set of encyclopedias. But they're old. 1974, they're 40 years old. Oh, you guys, you're, who made those? Remember these? And the owls. <laughs> oh, the uh, the macrame. I used to love to do macrame. I know I did some in Sunday school, but we just did basket hangings. Yeah. It even has jewelry. I did it in Girl Scouts. Fiberglass lampshades. Combinations for unusual effects. Crocheting, there's more macrame. Okay, right. just did some last year. Oh, really? How cool. Are you leaving, Susan? Good night, Susan. Please don't forget the thumbs up on the way out the door, you guys. T-shirts. So combination of even Tiffany style lamps. All right, no other interest, we'll sell them for 20. Yep, call it down. All right, let me move these out of the way and I'll do some fabric. <laughs> well, Captain, half of them will be gone tomorrow. No worries. Twenty thumbs down. Oh God. No, I have my share of haters. But you know what? It will it will uh, change tomorrow because they use multiple accounts to do that wow 20 thumbs down can you imagine they would do that yeah they had to go get all their friends to come and help yep wow that's the most i ever got in one night but there's an awful lot of thumbs up to offset them too. So I know it bothers me too, Deborah, that they're watching that they would do the thumbs down. I mean, I have a feeling I know who it is, but I mean, I can't stop them from coming and watching me. 
Yeah, I doubt too many of them are still watching. They just pop in for a second and take off. Yeah, they were. A lot of people have left. A click is a click. That's the way to look at it. I feel like one of the cool kids with the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and Captain got thirty-one, not you. <laughs> I know, June. What can you do? You know, it's like. Kick me when I'm down and out, you know, hurts harder. All right. What are you going to show next? They're watching Jill. Absolutely. They're watching. They watch everything I do. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. All right, is that sold? Oh, yeah. Okay, and it sold. I didn't even see that you wrote it. Sold to uh, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy turned quiz for 20. All right. So the way I did it last night was I would put a piece of fabric down and I would just start it at $5. So um, I'll do the same. And if it gets one bid, I have bins made up for the ones that um, I bought last night. And I have some more empty bins. This is a, um, it's kind of like an eyelet, but it's not cotton. It's polyester. And it's quite a bit of it. All right, I'm not going to be typing in the chat, everyone. I'm just going to call it audibly. We're going to start at $5. Still going to go at $2 increments. And we're going to move through it quick. So please bid fast and say out if you're done. And we'll see a lot of fabric. I'm going to say it's one, two, three. Most of it is like between four and six. So it's three. That's four. That's four. This is five. There's six. Seven. eight, nine, approximately 10 yards. All right. Who wants to start at five? Approximately 10 yards. But like I said, it is a, it's not a cotton. It's a polyester. Wanders in for five. Okay. Make a bucket for wander. Well, I'll wait until they win, and then I'll make a bucket, because I have two empty buckets here, because I shipped out two orders today. Ten yards of polyester, and it is white, not cream, right? Right, it's white, and it's, uh, this is called eyelet. Mary's in for ten. Marilyn just a hair behind. Thank you, Lisa. Wander's in for 12. Marilyn's in for 15. I don't know if you would call this an eyelet. Looks like flowers to me. Yeah, well, maybe it's not an eyelet. Kind of looks like an eyelet, but not really. All right, Marilyn's at 15. Does Wander or Mary want to come in? Yes, it's eyelet. Okay. Floral eyelet. All right. Looks embossed. Well, it's, you know, it just has like the holes in it. Wanders out. Okay, Mary, let us know. Marilyn at 15.
and Mary's out. All right, we're going to count it down in 15 seconds. Marilyn at fifteen dollars. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Marilyn B. And we're sold to Marilyn for fifteen. Okay. This one is just straight up. It's very silky feeling. So I'm going to say it's like a polyester. It's, it's a really pretty pink. It's a pink color. And I'm going to open it up off camera here and give you an idea of how many yards it is. I'm going to say it's one, two, it's silky. Yes, Sandy, the sold is the only thing I'm going to be writing in the chat. Three, four. Yes, please refresh, Sandy. Five, six, seven, Hi, Christina. Good morning. Eight, nine. Hi, Christina. Okay, approximately 10 yards. 10 yards of pink. It's not cotton. It's like a polyester. It's hard to see the color, but it's baby pink. And it's 10 yards and it's silky. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like nightgown material. All right. We're going to start at $5. Five, four, Baby pink, could probably use it. It's, um, yeah, it's like a rayon. Could probably use it to do like, um, we could do curtains out of it. All right, I don't see any action, so we're gonna give it 15 seconds and then pass it. Okay, we're gonna add I'm going to guess that this is between three or four yards. Yellow, check. Heather's in for five. All right. That looks like a tablecloth to me. Well, you get two pieces with that lot then. Valerie's in for seven. Is it the same type of material or something entirely no, different? No, this one's this one's cotton. This one is straight up like cotton. Maryland's in for ten. And this one has a five yards marked on it. And this one's like a polyester cotton blend. And that's a yellow too. So pink and yellow. I'm trying to stay in like the pastel family. Chosen goods at twelve. Heather at fourteen. And this one here is a pink. So yellows and pinks in this lot. This is more of a light pink. And then the two yellows. And this is like a dusty rose. Barbara's in at 16. Chosen goods at 20. And this one... It says on it, Dorothy Deer Designs for Spring Industry, made in the United States, 
1995. And it's pinks and blues, and it has a border of angels. And it is inside out, and I'm going to guess it's probably two yards. Let's see. Let me open it up. It's one. Yeah, this and there's is in at 22. This is two yards. Chosen goods at 25. And it has, um, I'll show you, it's got a double border. It has the angels on one side and it has the angels on the other side. Thanks everyone for giving those thumbs up. We're almost to hit a hundred. Oh, thanks you guys. Those other ones will fall off tomorrow because they're using dummy accounts. You know, some people have three, four accounts that they they'll use. Uh, Jill's asking Dorothy who? Dorothy. Heather at 27. Dorothy Deer. What's this? Dorothy Deer. D E E R. Oh, D E A R. Okay. Chosen Goods at 30. Barbara's out. Dorothy Deer. Let me see if there's another pastel one I can add to it. Here's a, um, kind of reminds me of, um, like, um, Long John material. It's cotton. Looks ribbed. It is. Kind of reminds me of, like. Is it a white or a yellow? It's yellow. Yellow. So these are all yellows and pinks in this lot. All right, Heather's out. So we have chosen goods at 30. And, and we need here, here from Maryland. Here is. And Valerie. A nice big piece of, this is fleece, yellow fleece, like blanket material in yellow. That I'll put in there too. Maryland's out. Valerie, let us know. This is a cute one, too. It's got berries on it. All right. We have eight pieces now. Valerie's out. We have chosen goods at 30. I think that's a good size lot. Anyone else? Heather's back in at 32. Here's a nice cotton. It's got blue and pink roses. Chosen goods at 35. We'll put that in there too. That's straight up cotton. And One more thumbs up for 100 if anyone hasn't done it yet. This is a pretty one. It kind of looks vintage. I'll see, yeah, if it there's a 37. I'll see if it says anything on the bottom. It has a color thing on the bottom, but I don't see like a designer's name. Chosen goods at 40. Written anywhere. But it's really cute. 
it looks very vintage. The colors on it, probably enough to do a nice tablecloth. I'll throw this in too. Heather's at 42. This one is Fabric Traditions 1997 Copyright NTT Inc. And, and Chosen Goods is out. It's a bunch of ballerinas. It's all ballerinas and musical notes. All right, we have Heather MC for 42. Anyone else? Kathy needs some elephants and zebras. Yes, Janine, they sure did. All right, we have Heather at 42. We're going to close it out in 15 seconds to Heather. I know, Janine. Thank you for that number 100 thumbs up. All right, 10 seconds. Because I'm such a horrible, evil person. That's Five why seconds. I deserve the uh, thumbs down. Hi, Moni. I'm guilty of working my ass off. And we're sold to Heather MC for 42. Hi, Moni. All right, Heather. Thank you, sweetheart. I really appreciate that. Make Heather a bucket. And Kyle's still hanging around. All right, thank you for number 101. Let's see if we can get to that 111. You know, I think people, when people see you working hard, they just, you know, about a buzzkill. Let's see, something with teal or zebra. Teal or zebra. I don't see anything zebra. As far as teal goes, for curtains for a craft room, this is kind of pretty. I don't know how big your window is. Oh, Heather, I'm going to put this in your lot, too. This is just another nice piece of pink, silky fabric. I'll put that in there also. Kind of goes with all the stuff that you bought. Let's see if this has a name on it, and let me see how. It's more of a green than a teal. Let me see um, how big of a piece it is. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's about six yards. And I'll see if there's something that matches up. <laughs> That's right, Marilyn. Keep hitting those thumbs. What kind of material is that? Cotton. It's cotton. Yes, it's a nice, heavy cotton. Let me see if I can find a fabric that matches it. 
I don't see any zebra here, but I didn't unload the other boxes. All um, right. Thanks. So. Thank you to number 102. Thanks, you guys. All right. We have some striped cotton. What did you say? Six yards? Yeah, I think it's six yards. It's um, off-white, like a cream, a green, a burgundy, like a little bit of a yellow in there. And I'm looking to see if there's a fabric that complements it. All right, we're going to start at $5. Maryland's at 10 This one complements it. Pencil skirt, okay. That's pretty together. Is that a off-white cream? Yep, this is a cream. And this looks like... It could be polyester, but it almost looks like a Dupioni silk, but it could be polyester too. Let me see if I have something in the burgundy family I can throw in this lot also that will complement that. I think this would complement it pretty. Thanks everyone for the thumbs up. That's Those look pretty. nice in the chat. Thank you, everybody. What is the design on that red? Um, a planet, Jupiter or Saturn or something. Yeah, planets. But it All matches. Right. It matches the burgundy on that. So that's a nice little three-piece complementing set. And we have Marilyn at ten, looking for twelve. Let's see. Lining or blouse fabric on the cream. And this one, that's green, so that matches. That matches all of that. Uh, Moni, we need twelve, please. Thank you. Moni's at twelve. I think that's all I have that matches that. You got the cream, the burgundy, and the green. Uh, Marilyn, did you? Okay, Marilyn 24, Moni at 26. And Dora's giving more thumbs up. I'm going to go look in these boxes and see if there's any. Um... Oh, here's another piece of cotton green. Is that the same? Yep. Well, no, it's a little bit off. It's a nice big piece. Oh, that's got something on it. Maryland's at 28. This has got a yellow, yellow faded spot on it, you guys. Let's look at the rest of it and see if it does. Was it exposed to the lighting for too long? Yeah, probably. I mean, there's plenty on here that you can cut that piece off and still have plenty to use. So just remember when you're unpacking it that, that you did see it. But it's kind of like all in the same family. All right, I'm going to look and see if there's real teal. Moni's in for 30. This is actually really pretty. I'm going to include this piece also. Let me measure it. It doesn't have a name on it. Marilyn's at 32. One, two, three, 
for it's about five yards and I'll show it to you how pretty it matches this whole set it's a flowing pattern that has it on both sides Aqua, was that a light blue? Um, aqua? Yeah. Aqua's the color of my ocean. Okay. So a medium blue. It, it's actually a beautiful blue. Okay. I'm going to put this up there in one second. I've almost got it folded. Okay, it's really pretty. And it matches everything that's going on here. But it's a floral. But look at it, it's got all the colors in it. And this pattern is on both sides of the yardage. All right, Marilyn's at 32. Look at how pretty that combination of fabric is. Isn't that beautiful? It's got all those colors. I just put that whole ensemble together. It's so pretty. So pretty. all complementing each other. <laughs> I was looking for the color aqua. It ended up being more of greens and burgundies and creams. All right, Moni's out. So we're going to call it down 15 seconds to Marilyn at 32. Ten seconds. Five seconds. And it sold to Marilyn for thirty-two dollars. Thank you, Marilyn. Oh, let me see if Amy got in first. Nope, she came in just after. Sorry. Sorry, Amy. Hi, Thelma. And everyone remember, T's going to have a Saturday auction tomorrow. Okay, Aqua. We have a request for Aqua. That's a nice lot, Marilyn. Congratulations. Okay, this is what I have in aqua. I have, this is like Jersey material. This is aqua, it's not blue. That's aqua and let's see. All right, we're gonna start at $5. This is aqua. It's a darker color aqua. Well, welcome back, Amy. Just mm -hmm. in time for the next lot. This is like um like a lining, like a shiny lining. So it looks really dark on there, but it's really a pretty let's see if I plug in this light if it shows better. Last night it was a little too bright. Yeah, see, it doesn't really show here. I'll show you on the screen like this. See it? Yeah, that's much better. It's aqua. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's a, it's a nice big piece, too. And, and as a side note, I'm going to tell you I'm going to be leaving in about 10 minutes. You are? Yes. Okay. Chosen so Goods at $10.
that's aqua. Three shades of aqua and teal. This is aqua. Oh, yeah. And now you can see it. Those are all shades of aqua. Oh, okay. I'm looking to see if there's any more aqua. So it looks like it's a pretty wide, uh, wide color base there. If they're yeah. all aqua. This is aqua. That's a cotton. Maryland's in for 12. Oh, here's a huge piece of aqua. Enormous. Let me show you. Chosen goods at 15. Look at this piece. It looks like a fairly thick cotton, is it? It is. It's a, 17. it's a pretty thick cotton, and I'm not going to unroll it because look how much is there, you guys. I'll never be able to fold this back up. It's very heavy. Very heavy. Can definitely make curtains from this. I'll show you the color compared to the other ones. Barbara's in for 20. Cell cloth. Is it that thick as to be cell cloth? Oh, God. I don't know. It could be. Did you hear it when it went down on the table? <laughs> Maryland's at 22. It's very heavy. Very, very heavy. So you've got the silky stuff. You've got the heavy stuff. You've got Barbara's the at 24. All in aqua shades. Whoops. I just hit the button. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. There. Um, Maryland's at 26. Let's see if there's any more over here. We're up to 105 on the thumbs up. Thank you much. Thank you, Shrifa. Barbara's at 30. Thank you, everyone. That's all my aqua. I'm looking through this case. Maryland at 32. There's a lot of really big pieces in here, but I don't see any more aqua. Nope. Barbara's at 34. That's it, guys. Chosen Kids is out. Maryland at 36. Did you have another book lot you wanted to show before you leave? No, no, I'm done. Barbara at 38. I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunity this weekend. Oh, you're welcome, Kathy. You might be, Kathy, since, you're, since your walls are turquoise, and they're kind of more on the green side. I think it would be really hard for you to um, try to match the color paint. You might be better off just going with a beautiful, like crisp white color. And you could always take your color swatch um, 
and do like a um a trim on the white like the white curtains like put a trim of the the blue like on the bottom or running down like either panels um instead of trying to match the blue yeah i would do if if the if the room was painted um turquoise i i would definitely do beautiful just white crisp curtains it will look really fresh and clean and pretty in there because there's so many different shades of aqua and you'll drive yourself crazy trying to match it but <clears throat> if you're if you're really set on matching the paint color then i would take the paint swatch to the fabric store and um and try to you know find it that way or you know even using like a very sheer lighter shade of turquoise if you don't want to do white and valerie requested some small printed cotton fabrics okay valerie i have some and we have Barbara at 46. I'll do, a, um, I'll do a lot of those next. Whenever Marilyn or Barbara go out, we're going to go ahead and sell it without a countdown. So if you want to be in, please come in now. Marilyn's at 50, looking for 55. So it's a total of one, two, three, four, five, and then the big, huge chunk, six. And Barbara is out, so we're going to give it to Marilyn at 50. All right, Marilyn. Sold, sold, sold. And that does it for me tonight. Thanks right. everyone for coming I'll out. I'll bring you on the screen. Thank you for joining me. Sure. Appreciate you going to go through the night? No. I'm going to do a print and I don't know. Let's see what the crowd wants to do. All right. Well, we'll see you all tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Stryker. All right. We'll see you all later. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. All right, you guys. Let's see. Prints. I have, so this is cotton and I'm going to just guess it's probably two yard, two yards. And this one is, um, it's called HMKLC baby essentials screen print. D and it's like a baby baby colors right and then I'm gonna guess that this is probably two yards and that's like teddy bears blues and here we have another cotton and it's Precious Moments. Precious Moments. Spect spectrally. There's a Precious Moments. Nice cotton. And here is just a small piece, but it's Christmas. It's gingerbread men. And it's probably a yard. Hey, Scarlett. Welcome in. Good to see you. Here is another cotton. And it's blue with white 
polka dots. And everybody knows this guy. La 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 la, la 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 la, Elmo's world. So you got Elmo in there. And let's see what else I got. This is this is one of those piano. Which Susan Arrington's getting. It's a vest, and it's an Easter chicky vest. And it's one of those panels with the instructions on it. And that's cotton. Oh, I'm good, Scarlett. The girls are great. Thank you for asking. Here's another pink. This is actually, it looks yellow, but it's pink. Let me turn this light off and see if it's better. It's pink and orange and white. And it's like a cotton, almost like tweed. You can see it. It's beautiful fabric. There's that one. Here is a red and white cotton small piece. Here's a white one. Here's a blue. Here's another one of these. It's called a Heart's Delight Vest. And it's two panels. Of the Heart's Delight Vest. Some Power Rangers. Your birthday's on Valentine's. That's awesome. All right. Should I stop? Is that enough? That's all I have that's right here behind me in cotton prints. Here's a really cute one. There's a lot here. 
I'm not going to open it up. This is really pretty. You see it? There's a lot on it. There's a lot on this on this bolt. So let's see if it says anything. Well, it said something, but it looks like it was cut off. Not cut off. It was like printed. It was like printed on the fringe. You see? I don't know if you can make out the name on it. But, yeah, it's got little mice, little Raggedy Ann, a little girl holding a Raggedy Ann doll, All right? So, and that's a nice big piece. So that's what you get here. You get all of this. It's a nice big lot. That's all of it. I'll we'll throw in this one too. This is just blue cotton. It matches a lot of the blues that are in there. So you get blues and pinks and all different colors. another pink piece that I can put in. We have Moni at 40. Valerie is out. We're going to call it down to Moni. We're going once. We're going twice. We got a fair warning. And we're sold to Moni. All right, Moni. Thank you, honey. All right. So what do you guys think? So that's the pink. I'm going to call it the baby lot. There's a lot of baby colors in there. Congratulations. 
Heather MC, do you want help? No, I think I'm going to call it a night, you guys. i got a busy day tomorrow. I just wanted to come on quick tonight. I mean, it hasn't been quick. I've been on for three hours. You're so sweet, Heather, but I'll take you up on that next time that I'm going on. 105 thumbs up, 21 thumbs down. Haters. I will, toilet girl. Don't forget, we're going to go on tomorrow at 12 o'clock with tea. Thank you, everybody, that came in and hung out with me tonight. So last minute, it was awesome. It was a privilege to have you all here. Hi, Lisa. I didn't see you sneak in. What is she saying? Great job to Toilet Girl for. What would Toilet Girl do? What would you do, Toilet Girl? I'm counting calories and going out for walks every day. Oh, that's good. She's been on shutdown forever. <laughs> Barbara, Barbara, it's enough. <laughs> Were you saying it's enough because I was adding too much fabric? <laughs> You're so funny. Thank you, Mary. Good night, you guys. Thank you, Sandy. Am I going to have any wallets anytime soon? I'll have to check and see what's left in the back there. We're, we are tackling that back room, I think, this week. I might take a couple of days off from the auctions and just really get that back room in order. Um, I don't know. Nice to come home from work and catch a live, Jim. You're so sweet, Jim. Thank you, Scarlett. Thank you, everyone. Night. Good night, Heather. Good night, Elsie. Thank you so much for being here always. I know, Barbara. Thank you. You're so sweet. Though you'll, you'll see when you come back tomorrow and you guys try to leave a comment if you can after the video loads because it really helps. But if you come back tomorrow, those 21 thumbs down will probably go down to like 11. People just creating accounts and doing it. Oh, well. I know, Heather. Thanks. And it helped my spirits too coming on. It really did. Thanks, Christina. I will. I'm going to tackle the shipping really hard tomorrow, you guys, and try to catch up on all of the orders that I've got to ship out. Okay. And we'll see you on Tees at 12. You guys all have a very good night. I love you. Good night, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the support always. Really appreciate it. Bye.